Well, hello, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. Today we're doing a timeless reading for you guys, and this is all about manifesting abundance. So not only is it a timeless reading, so whenever you see this reading is when you are meant to see it, whether it is today or whether it's years from now, all right? It's meant to find you when it's meant to find you, all right? So that being a timeless reading, it is also a pick a card reading. I went all out today for you guys, okay? So um, this is a good chance for you to interact with the cards a little bit. Trust your intuition, okay, and pick whichever pile here that you are drawn to. If you find yourself waffling between uh, a couple of different ones, you might want to watch both the readings because that usually means that there's messages in there for, um, for you from both of those, all right? So let's get right into it. So pile number one right here, and this is the Gilded Tower Royale, and it's got a beautiful heart-shaped green cat's eye on there, Lucky Stone. Uh, we have the original Rider Waite Smith here, and that is with a lovely Labradorite on there. And then we have the Muse Tarot right at the end here, pile number three. This one was pile number two, pile number three, and a beautiful uh, Chevron Amethyst on there for you guys. So take a pause, pause the video for if you want. All right, take a deep breath, listen to your intuition, and then pick the pile that speaks to you the most. All right. So let's get right into it right in a second. And hello, Scorpio pile number one. Let's get right into your reading here, manifesting abundance. So messages for Scorpio group number one. Thank you very much. Okay. So flying out of the deck here, the first message that we have for you is mending. Now, when you're on the path to manifestation, okay, it's really important to be completely in alignment, right? Um, positive thoughts, positive emotions, um, knowing what you want, um, you know, attaching a motivation to your intentions, okay, can really uh, turn you into a magnet for manifesting. All right, so when we have mending here, there may be something um, in your life that is preventing you from seeing the true potential of your manifestations. Okay, and this could be something from the past. It could be some disappointments. Um, it could be someone telling you that, you know, that things will never work. All right, and there is a need to find a way to cleanse that energy and to mend that situation. Find some closure if need be. Okay, something just may be holding you back um, just a little bit. Okay, and I don't feel like it's like, I don't feel in this energy that it's a major issue, okay? And sometimes it's just a little bit of a minor one. But even if it's not anything external, um, this could be something in yourself that needs to be mended, that needs to be forgiven, okay? And you know, the thing is, the path to abundance, prosperity, manifestation, it's not necessarily a click your fingers and it's done. It can be a little bit of a bumpy ride, Okay, there's delays, there's timing, um, you know, there's intentions that you may have set that, oh crap, I think I might have done that wrong. Okay, there's all of those uh, kinds of things, right? So for every disappointment um, or every challenge in along the way, okay, don't beat yourself up. Just think of things as a learning curve, right? Sometimes we need to start small to achieve something big. And sometimes we need to take two step forward and one step back, okay? It happens, all right? So forgive yourself for anything that uh, you may have, any mistakes that you may have made along the way, not just in your manifestation journey, but also in your life, all right? And then move forward. It, life is not about the mistakes we make, all right? It's about what we do next, okay? And it's about learning from them and being true to ourselves and our path and living up to our true fullest potential. Okay, so let's pull another card and let's see what else we've got there. What else do we, wow, need to know? Thank you, okay, here we go. And you know what, I gotta say, this card keeps coming up. All right, and we have ease. Now this is a mantra and it is very, very important when you're doing manifestation. Ease, it's easy for me to receive, it's easy for me to receive, it's easy for me to receive. 
okay? Mend the connection ah, between you, the universe, and your heart chakra, okay? Ease is all about being in the flow, opening yourself up, um, being available to receive all of the abundance and the blessings that the universe has in store for you, all right? And sometimes that's the, something that we always forget to do. Our heart chakra, okay, if our heart is blocked and if we're not feeling the emotion and the positive energy um, that comes with our manifestations when we set our intentions, okay, emotions are a huge part of manifestation, then sometimes we're not in the energy of receiving all of their blessings, so there's a mantra for you. There's an affirmation for you. Say it out loud. All right. Words that are spoken out loud always hold way more impact than anything just swirling around in our brain. All right. And if you've ever looked in the mirror and tried to tell yourself that you love yourself, all right, um, it is not an easy thing to do. Okay, it's easy to sit there and think, yeah, I love myself, I'm happy with myself. But quite often when you look in the mirror and you say it out loud and it bounces right back to you, it's like, huh. Oh. And that's when some emotions come to the surface. That might be how you need to know how you know that something needs to be mended, forgiven, opened up. All right, so let's continue. Let's pull, let's pull another card. So what else does group number one here need to know? Manifesting abundance, please. And these are the, wow, law of attraction cards. Okay, your cards are very jumpy today. All right, and we have here, I will not attempt to control others' experiences. And it says, rather than trying to control the experiences of all others, which you cannot do no matter how hard you try, instead intend to control your own participation within those experiences. And by setting forth your clear image of the life you want to live, you will be guided in every moment towards a smooth and pleasant path for yourself. All right. So that mending energy. All right. Um, is there some behavior that you've engaged in that you feel guilty about? Have you tried to coerce someone or guilt someone into, you know, joining you on your manifestation journey, perhaps, right? Impose your will on others. Um, you know, is there something that is there that's, you know, that's making you feel a little bit guilty? All right, it's possible. Okay, you can control your experience, your um, the way you deal with people, places, things, and you can control your free will, but not anyone else's. Okay, so there may be there may be a message in there uh, for someone in relation to that mending card. All right, but we uh, the whole point here is to open your path to your manifestations and to your abundance. So. Whoever needs to hear that, there you go. So let's pull your tarot and let's see what other messages. Thank you. So we have temperance here first for you. Oops. All right. Temperance, healing, balance. Then we have the six of pentacles. The fool. Oh, yeah. I like the fool, especially in that position. And the king of cups. Yes, indeed. I'm going to pull another row and then I'll explain what all of these mean. One more. Thank you. So coming out with temperance, we've got the seven of cups. Six of pentacles is with the emperor. Two of cups is with that fool. I love that combination. And the seven of wands with that king of cups. All right. So first row here, this is all about setting your intention, planting the seeds of your abundance, planting the seeds of your manifestation. All right, we need to be in balance. We need to be in alignment with ourself and the universe, our head, heart, body, mind, and soul. We need to know what we are manifesting and why. And when we attach motivation to our intentions, we're a magnet. Okay, the world is our oyster. Everything flows to us more easily. And it doesn't matter what your motivation is. 
behind your intention, as long as it's for not for evil purposes. Okay, we don't want to delve into that. All right. But uh, as long as it's for, you know, good intention, not doing anyone any harm, not doing anyone wrong, including yourself. All right. Attach that motivation to your intentions. Know why you're doing something. You are the alchemist of your own life here, okay? The temperance card is uh, a, a little bit of alchemy there, spiritual alchemy, if you will. We've got fire and water, create steam, all right? But it's one about being in balance as well. It's also a reminder that you are being divinely guided, okay? Your guardian angels, one of the guardian angel cards, right? Your guardian angels have your back every single step of the way. If there's anything that needs to be fixed, mended, healed to get you in alignment, Okay, you've got some beautiful, wonderful energy, Sagittarian energy here helping you do that. Okay, and with this Seven of Cups, all about setting your intentions, right? Woo, it might feel a little bit overwhelming. All right, what if I choose wrong? What if I'm wrong? What if I don't do my manifestations right? What if I get, you know, what if I get something and it's not what I wanted? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Follow your heart. All right, if you had seven choices here in front of you, which one gives you an emotional connection? Which one gives you butterflies in your belly? Which one speaks to you the most? All right, you do not need to manifest the entire world all at the same time. If you're new at manifestation and you know you know you, you want abundance, right? Maybe you want a lot of money. Maybe you want a new job opportunity, love, whatever it happens to be. Break things down into smaller sections. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to comprehend. And sometimes if we bite off, if we've got seven things that we want to manifest, um, you know, because it's seven of cups, okay? So if we have seven things that we want to manifest into our life, um, it can be a little bit overwhelming trying to do everything all at once. So temperance is here to bring about some peace and balance, okay, into our decision-making process and really shows us the way to follow our heart and be a little bit selective, okay? You have time, all right? Manifestation doesn't necessarily happen overnight, okay? Um, or right there in an instant, if it did, we'd probably all be in trouble, all right? There's a delay, okay? There's a timing delay for a reason, all right? And that's to, um, you know, allow us to go back and course correct if need be, okay? So, but the, when we get this seven of cups, this is follow your heart, okay? And if you've got a whole laundry list of things, pick a, cu pick a couple, pick two, okay? Pick three, if that's, you know, a better number for you, okay? Or just pick one, all right? And make it small. And as you realize your manifestations coming true, they're easier. It picks up momentum, okay? And it becomes easier and easier and easier and manifestation becomes a habit, all right? And there's not, you know, there's there's a few tricks to manifestation, um, but it's not rocket science. And sometimes it, there, there can be an overwhelming amount of information on the internet in regards to it, but I find keeping it simple is easier, okay? Keep it simple, um, be focused, all right? And, you know, um, set your intention, know your motivation, okay? Those two go hand in hand. Attach your feelings to it, okay? Visualization, all right? And feel the energy, okay? Um, as if you already had it because energetically it's already here for you, all right? And you need to be firm in your belief in that as well. Then you need to um, let the universe take the reins. Let the universe take control, all right? Obsessing over it, getting frustrated, okay? Getting impatient, mm -mm, none of those work, all right? Because they actually block the flow of the universe. Be open and ready to receive all the blessings that are headed your way and then just allow things to flow exactly as they should and just trust that you will receive what, you're, what you need exactly when you need it, all right? The clock, the watch, the universe does not wear one, okay? That is only humans. All right, and that's really the basis of manifestation, okay? But setting your intention is the biggest key. And we always want to manifest from a position of abundance, not from lack, okay? So it's all about how you word things sometimes. And we also need to remember to be grateful as well. So thank you for all of the blessings that, you, that I have received.
even if you haven't received any blessings. All right, be thankful for the blessings that you've received anyway. All right, if you're looking for financial stability, I am financially stable and I am very grateful. Okay, um, a little bit tricky sometimes to conceive, a little bit tricky concept, which is why sometimes it's easier to start a little bit small. Okay, but some of you are manifestation masters. All right, and you're well on your way. Uh, to completion here, okay? Um, you've got something you've got something good. There's great things uh, headed your way here. But what do you need to clean out? What do you need to sweep away? All right, and we do have the six of Pentacles and the Emperor. Now typically the, in this in this particular row, I read these as, the, as though they were upside down because we don't want to sweep away anything good. All right, and both these are really good positive energies, right? So we're clearing out any energy that may be blocking our manifestations, okay? So the Six of Pentacles in reverse, holding on to something too tight, trying to control the outcome. And actually, I may as well just flip that Emperor the other way around as well because the Emperor can also be about control, all right? Are you trying to micromanage the universe? Are you blocking the flow of energy that's coming towards you? Have you set a correct intention? Are you getting impatient? Okay. Um, if things are taking a little bit too long, do you believe fully that all of your blessings are flowing to you? Are you ready to receive? Because the Six of Pentacles in reverse is not an energy of receiving. Okay, it's a one-way energy instead of the two-way energy that we really love to see with that Six of Pentacles. Okay, so those are all kind of things to think about there. All right, what is it that you need to release? Do that little, do that little emotional deep dive there. Are you being honest with yourself? Did you set a proper intention? Are you manifesting from a place of abundance and not from a place of lack? Do you trust the universe? All right, release your, uh, release any kind of. Uh, micromanagement of the universe and don't like it, okay? Um, you know, believe, live in the flow, be ready to receive, be patient. No one likes to be told be patient, right? And get ready for the blessings and your abundance to flow to you, okay? Doubt, control, all of those things, frustration, impatience, mm -mm. no, bye-bye. Okay, out the door, out the window, okay? Vacuum it up, put it out with the trash, all right? not going to work. But how are you going to nurture your intentions? Wow. The fool and the two of cups. Trust, leap of faith. This fool energy is one of innocence. It's one of adventure. Okay. New beginnings, fresh starts, but it's also one that is ultimate trust in the universe that in the universe that everything's going to be okay that everything is going to work out wonderfully for you on your journey the two of cups is about being in harmony with the universe with your higher self okay nurturing your emotions your feeling being in true complete balance all right with all of your intentions okay trusting trust trust okay trusting that the universe has all of these wonderful things the stars, you see the stars in that two of cups, the stars are aligned for you. And you know, the interesting thing in this, uh, this reading here, we actually have a few moons. Um, we have a moon here with the temperance, we have a moon with the fool, and we have a moon with the two of cups here. So some of you, the moon energies may be really powerful for your manifestations, and you may actually be doing some manifestation work with the moon, setting your intention with the new moon, releasing uh, things into the universe, burning it to the ground per se, um, with the full moon, okay? So, and if you're not, you may want to consider um, aligning your manifestations with those moon cycles. Okay. Take advantage of that energy. And the moon is also a feminine energy of re being receptive as well. Okay. So you can really, uh, help and you can really open your heart chakras by doing that moon work. Okay. So tap into that feminine energy there and be in control of your emotions. Okay. Trust that you've got this divine connection here and have faith. Ultimately, the fool is that leap of faith energy, okay? Get ready for something new, all right? A fresh start. This is this fool. Fears, doubts, control, negativity, impatience, all of that, goodbye, okay? That fool just knows that things are going to be okay, all right? So really beautiful, really beautiful energy there, all right? So that's how you nurture your intentions, okay? Um, but you've also released it and let it go, right? This is all about just maintaining that high vibration, 
right? That's really what that is, okay? And when you do all of that, the King of Cups, being open, being receptive, being in control of your emotions, sitting in the seat of your personal power, trusting that everything is going to flow to you, flow your way, all right? Seven of Wands, being firm in your intentions, your beliefs, all right? And uh, really um, standing true to your own authenticity and to what you want and to what you are attracting, okay? And this is not a card of activity, by the way, all right? This is just one of standing your ground, trusting that, you know, um, that there may be opportunities coming your way. Sometimes there may be obstacles and challenges along your way as well, okay? But this is really being true to your beliefs, your intentions, knowing what you want, <clears throat> excuse me, and trusting that it's going to flow to you, okay? Um, so some of you with this King of Cups, there may be new love, romance coming in, okay? There could even be um, a new job opportunity that comes your way. All right, there may be other people vying for it, but you really do stand out in a crowd. Whatever it is that you are um, trying to attract that Seven of Wands energy, you really are at your personal best, okay? And you are in full control of your emotions, your thoughts, and your actions, all right? And you're ready for things to start flowing your way, all right? And one thing that we need to remember is that sometimes when we're manifesting, yes, things can really come to fruition all at once. Big things sometimes do happen all at once. More likely though, um, what usually happens is we get those series of lucky breaks. We get those opportunities um, that present themselves to us, okay? That chance that we need to take, that leap that we need to embrace. And that's quite often what leads us towards our path to abundance, okay? Those manifestations, right? It's always a co-creating um, energy with the universe, okay? We do our part, the universe does theirs, and it's that back and forth, back and forth, that healthy give and take, and, you know, all about being in that flow of that energy, right? What you think about, you bring about, and this is really your chance to um, put, your, um, put your intentions into reality, okay? You're creating your reality, what, um, you know, your thoughts become things. So we want to make sure that we know exactly what we want so that we get the things that really speak to our heart and soul, all right? The ones that, the things that really, really do speak to us and that we really do desire, all right? So I'm going to leave that there for you, but I'm going to close out your reading. This is Making Magic Cards, all right? So these have magical symbols on there to help you with your manifestations, all right? You can, um, I'll hold it up to the camera. You, the words might be fuzzy, I think, um, but the, um, but the uh, symbol will be there. So you probably take a screenshot, pause the video, take a screenshot if you want. So what else? Thank you. And one more. Thank you. That one. Okay, thank you. All right. And we have fairy magic. All right, and that's your magical symbol. Respectfully work with the fairies and elementals to achieve your goals. All right, now if you believe in that kind of thing, I do. Um, there's a reason things exist in folklore, all right? A fairies, are, fairies and elementals are actually very much tied to nature, okay? So you may be able to ground your energy and connect with nature. And here is your next symbol, and this is on target. Follow your ideal life path, all right? What are you aiming for? Aim high, okay? And there is your last one. And this is one enchanted evening, the perfect night. So some of you may be manifesting some romance, some new love. All right. So I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something in here that helped you along with your manifestations and that maybe got you unstuck or got you thinking about something. Um, might have been a little bit or the whole thing. But if there was, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I thank you guys so much for watching. Happy manifesting. Okay, keep your vibe high. Okay, so um, I thank you for watching. Love, light, blessings to you. And I will see you next time. And we're moving on to pile number two. Well, hello, Scorpio, pile number two. Welcome to your Manifesting Abundance reading. So let's get right into this. All right, so let's see. What do we need to know? Manifesting Abundance. All right. And 
and we have truth be told. Okay, this one has come out a couple of times. This is about being authentic with your intentions, knowing what you want, knowing why you want it, and then speaking your truth clearly, concisely to the universe. Okay, ask for what you want. All right, and be very, very clear in your intentions. And, you know, when we attach, when we um, not only put our intentions out there, okay, but when we attach a motivation to it as well, we become a magnet for manifestations, okay? So it doesn't matter what your, what your motivation is for wanting something, as long as it's um, not for evil purposes, okay? We don't want to go down that road. That's not a good road, okay? But it doesn't matter, right? If you're trying to, if, let's say you're trying to manifest $100,000 just for the fear of fear, um, just for the pure pleasure of being able to travel the world in the lap of luxury for a year, um, more power to you, all right? But when you attach that motivation to what you're attracting and to what your, you, um, your intention is, okay, it becomes that much more powerful, all right? So you need, it, there is this need here to speak your truth, be honest with yourself, be authentic in your, um, in your manifestations, and speak clearly okay and don't be shy don't be shy okay the universe is infinitely abundant all right and then that is yours to be had all right you are deserving you are worthy and don't think otherwise so let's pull more cards all right And we have individuality. All right. Every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. This is really about, again, just like truth be told, being, um, being authentic to yourself. All right. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. Don't worry about what Jack down the street has or, or is doing with their life. This is all about you. You are a unique person. You have a unique reason for being on this planet. For some people, it's just to learn how to be human because that's not challenging enough, right? Um, it's, you know, it's got a lot of ups and downs. Um, you know, some people are here to change the world, okay, and to be a guiding light for others, but most people aren't. And most people are just here to be themselves, to learn how to be the best human that they can be, and to dance to the beat of their own drum. So don't let anyone steer you off your path. Be true to yourself. Be authentic in yourself. And it makes it so much easier to manifest when we're in that energy because you know who you are, okay? And you're in alignment with yourself, right? And then nothing can stand in your way. So let's pull another card. This is the Law of Attraction card. So I divide each day into segments of intention. All right. This is about dividing things up. Okay. If, if, if something feels a little overwhelming to you, all right, break it down into smaller chunks. Okay. It makes things easier. The point from which you are constantly consciously perceiving that point is a segment. Your day may be divided into many segments. It's not necessary to have a rigid schedule of segments, but it is important that you clearly identify when you are moving from one segment of intentions into another segment of intentions. Okay, so it's a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> All right, they're great cards, but a few of them are a little bit of a mouthful. Really what this means, be very clear in setting your intentions. Okay, make sure that one doesn't flow into another. So if you're new at manifesting, okay, you might have a laundry list of things that you that you want to attract into your life, okay? Whatever abundance means to you, it means something different for everybody, right? But abundance really is about having a lot of something. So, but if you have a whole list of things that you are trying to attract and you're new at manifestation, you may need to break it down. 
And if you're doing any kind of work with like the moon cycles are a great way to do manifestation because it actually helps you compartmentalize things and puts you on a little bit of a schedule, okay? Um, kind of helps you keep your thoughts in order and has you, um, you know, just instead of kind of like free for, free for all in it a little bit, okay, kind of like centers your energy, okay? It helps you, it helps you in that way. It also helps you be open and receptive, okay, to blessings coming your way. So um, if you do have a whole bunch of things that you are trying to manifest, focus on one at a time. And, you know, you can have a vision board, you can do like abundance checks, you know, all of these things, but maintain your focus on one item at a time. So set your intention, know your motivation, attach your feelings, your emotions to it. Okay. Sit in meditation with it as you know, and, um, visualize actually receiving what you are attracting. Okay. Do that for at least 10 minutes. Okay, feel those feelings, how, you know, how you would feel when all of these things come into your, um, come into your life. Okay, be thankful and be grateful for all of the blessings that you have received. Okay, because energetically you have already received your manifestations. Then give it back to the universe and say, here you go and release the control and then trust, have faith and believe that when the time is right, your manifestations will come into fruition. Simple as that. Okay. Um, it's really about keeping it simple, but do one at a time. Okay. Cause otherwise it can be overwhelming. All right. And you do need to really focus when you are setting those intentions and doing that initial manifestation. Okay. So might be a little bit of a helpful, helpful hint for some of you there. So let's pull your tarot that you chose and let's see what we've got for you. Nope. Okay. Thank you. All right. What is it that group number two Scorpio needs to know for manifestation? Thank you. And we have the magician. Wow. Manifestation station over here. Oh boy. Okay. I love that. All right, it comes with a word of caution. So, but I'll get to that in a minute. All right, we also have the Page of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. And we have the Emperor. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. That got caught on my nail. All right, so let's just pull a second row for these. All right, what else do we need to know? Manifestations. Thank you. So with the Magician, we've got the Three of Cups. Oh, yes. With the Page of Cups, we have the Two of Cups. The Ace of Swords has the Five of Wands with it. And the King of Cups comes out with the Emperor. You have a lot of powerful energy that is with you right now. Okay, let's start about setting your intention. The Magician and the Three of Cups. The Magician, wow, if, when you're doing manifestation, let me tell you, the Magician is the energy that you want by your side. And here he is. Very important, very powerful. Your powers right now are incredibly strong. So, what you think about, you bring about. Your thoughts become things. Um, maintain your focus. All right, and know and trust that you have the power. Okay, here's your thoughts and there's your reality. Okay, your thoughts become things. It's like poof. Okay, tap into the magic that is around you. But when we have the magician, this is being focused and resourceful, but this is using all of the elements wisely. Okay, and being very much in alignment. So make sure that you really know what it is that you want to attract because that is what's coming on in. All right. And then with the three of cups here, attach <clears throat> those positive high vibe emotions to what you are manifesting. Okay. Positive uplifting. All right. And may and manifest from a position of abundance and joy. Okay. Not from one of desperation and need. 
All right, there's a difference between the two. Be grateful and thankful for everything that you have already achieved and that you have already received, okay? Because energetically, you have. All right, so when you're setting your intentions, again, be focused. One thing at a time, okay? One thing at a time. You can do something today and something else tomorrow, all right? You can work with those moon cycles and do one or two things at each moon cycle if you want, all right? But um, but the, the real, the real energy here is focus. And if you can multitask and if you can do three manifestations at a time, more power to you. Not everyone can do that though. Okay. So don't be afraid. Okay. The energy is really on your side. Now, <clears throat> what you need to clear away. Okay. What is blocking you? What is standing in your way? Now, these look like wonderful, wonderful cards. Okay. But we're reading them upside down. Okay, because we're taking the shadow elements of them. We're taking the reversals, okay, because we want to clear anything away that may be blocking you, okay, or that may be just standing in your way. The Page of Cups. Um, negative thoughts creeping in. Doubt creeping in. Normally, the Page of Cups in the upright is full of enthusiasm and excitement and a zest for life and, you know, happy vibes, happy energy, you know, open heart, open chakra. Okay. But in the reverse, not receiving, not excited, frustrated. Okay. Um, you know, not in a but energy of belief and definitely not in the energy of receiving. Okay. So out with anything holding you back. We want to embrace the upright. We want to embrace this, um, this high vibe energy and this zest for life and this belief that, you know, just by holding this cup, that something great will pop out of that, that the surprise is on your way. Okay. So that's what we need to, uh, we need to get rid of the, get rid of anything negative holding you back and embrace the positive. Okay. And if you ever, um, if you ever, it's impossible to control every single thought or emotion that you have every minute of every day. Okay. But it's about being mindful. So if you are, you know, going through your day and you find yourself getting frustrated that a new job opportunity hasn't presented itself to you yet, you know, or that a new love hasn't walked into your life, you know, whatever it is that you're manifesting here, because it can be about anything, right? Um, whatever abundance means to you. And you start to feel a little bit frustrated down, um, you know, uh, impatient. Okay. Anything, any of those, uh, n you know, more challenging negative emotions there, stop in your tracks, be mindful of your thoughts and your feelings, bring yourself back to center, release the negativity and get on with your day. Okay. Um, because being mindful isn't about being, uh, controlling every minute of every day. Cause if that was the case, oh my God, you'd be exhausted by noon. All right. Um, but it's just being mindful when you feel those things creeping in. All right. And it's about catching yourself, right? All about mindfulness. Okay. Um, we've got the two of the two of cups coming out with it too. I'm sorry. This is usually a really good card. Okay. Um, but again, this is, um, you know, this is, uh, about any kind of doubt, okay, or impatience or anything like that, okay, it's about normally the two of cups in the upright, it's about being in harmony, being at one with your higher self, with the universe, okay, um, soulmate energy, all right, but when we're clearing out anything negative, anything that prevents uh, that coming in, okay, again, very much the same as with that page of cups, all right, if you feel disheartened, okay, or if you're not attaching your positive emotion to your manifestations, right? Um, you know, we we need to get out with anything that is negative, okay? And embrace the positive. Be in full alignment with ourselves, okay? Open our heart. Open our emotions. Attach the positive emotions to these intentions and to the manifestations. Be in harmony and at one with ourselves, our environment, and most specifically with the universe, okay? Trust trust and believe and embrace all those blessings that are already with you and be thankful for them as well. Okay. Anything that is not in alignment with that out the door, it goes. All right. Divine timing is major factor in um, manifestation and we always get what we need when we need it and not a minute before. 
All right. So it's all about those stars aligning for you, right place, right time. Okay. But also being ready to act upon opportunities that come in. And, you know, because sometimes that's how things work, right? We get those opportunities and it's just like the luck. All right. It's like a lucky event. Um, the golden opportunity that presents itself out of the blue, a chance meeting with somebody, a friend, you know, if you're looking for a new love, a friend all of a sudden has some new person at their workplace or something. And, you know, all of a sudden it's like the person of your dreams, right? All of that. And we need to be ready to act upon it, right? Which means we need to be in a high vibe. So how do you nurture your intentions? Because your intentions here is very magical. And speaking of magical, we've got an ace of swords, very lucky energy, very magical energy. Speak your truth. Be true to yourself, your intentions, and trust in the process, all right? Be connected and at one with the universe here and think positively, okay? And trust that you are on your path to victory, success, okay? It is all yours for the taking. The five of wands here, be ready to take action. Don't fight for it though, okay? Don't force the issue, right? Five of uh, five of wands can be one of um, a lot of activity, some competition, a little bit of conflict in there sometimes, but it can actually be a bunch of people, um, you know, getting together and collaborating um, and to achieve a common goal. There'll always be a winner, all right? But, um, you know, but everyone kind of working together, all right? So there may be opportunities. Get ready to seize the moment for an opportunity that may come about that other people are vying for. All right. And you will be the victor to the victor go the spoils. Right. Okay. So don't forget that, you know, don't, and don't be worried um, in this five of wands energy. Don't be worried about what anyone else is doing. <clears throat> okay. Or what anyone else is saying. Remember who you are. Okay. Remember the wonderful qualities that are you. Okay. What everyone else is fighting for here may not be, what you are looking for. All right. So rise above that competition, rise above any, uh, naysayers there. All right. And, and, you know, most important, don't let anybody, um, don't let anybody steer you from the path that you're on. Okay. Cause you know, the truth. Okay. You are focused. You are the one there that holds that sword that holds that power to move forward and to manifest your dreams. The aces are always lucky energy, but they're also gifts from spirit. Okay. So communication, clarity, purpose. Okay. And puts you on the path, victory, success. Okay. This could be a lucky conversation, a golden opportunity. This can be somebody, uh, you know, someone reaching out to you and, you know, hand picking you for something. <clears throat> All right. Lots of luck comes in with that ace of swords. So be standing your truth know what you want and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay. And then the energy that we sit in, all right, once we, you know, maintain our focus and, you know, we let someone else micromanage the universe. Okay. We're not in competition with the universe here with this five of wands. All right. Give back that control. Okay. Release uh, your manifestations into the universe and then you need to sit back and trust. Okay. Your job is to stay focused and positive. Your job is to maintain a high vibration, all right, so that you don't accidentally attract anything you don't want, okay? We don't want to be negative, okay? But the Emperor and the King of Cups, talk about sitting in your throne of personal power, all right? We've got power, leadership, authority that comes in with the Emperor, also um, solid, stable foundation, two feet on the ground, and believing that all the abundance in the world belongs to you, okay? Power, power, focus, control, beautiful energy, all right? And with this, you are in control of your emotions. You're open, you're ready to receive with that King of Cups, all right? And receive all of the blessings, trusting in the foundation that you've built, trusting in yourself to manifest everything, opening your heart, getting ready to receive, you're in control of your emotions, your vibration is high, and you are ready, right? What do those, what do those emperors do on that throne, right? They sit there and they just wait 
for the blessings to come to them. They wait for people to bring them news, bring them gifts, bring them you know, what a blessings, okay, bring them food, okay, whatever that is, right? Um, but this is beautiful energy of being open, being in control, and trusting that all these blessings are really flowing to you. This King of Cups is one of being in the flow as well, right? So in the flow of the universe, beautiful energy, okay, really, really is, all right? And it doesn't matter what it is you're manifesting here, all right, or when it's coming in, because you are comfortable and you are secure in the knowledge that you are in the flow and that great things coming in, okay, and you're totally, totally connected with the universe there. Remember, you are the magician. Don't doubt that for one second, how powerful you are, okay? So I'm going to leave that there, okay? Um, but I'm going to pull you a few um, making magic cards here. So these have very powerful magical symbols on here. I'll hold them up to the camera. And if something uh, piques your interest or catches your eye, you can um, pause the video for a minute and take a screenshot of it. The words may come out um, a little bit fuzzy, but the symbols, I think, are very, very clear. All right, so one more. Thank you. Okay. And your first one. Ah, Triple moon, very powerful symbol, embracing all aspects of your, of yourself, the divine and the earthly. Mm-hmm. What is that? Alignment. Okay. Alignment and being open. We have labyrinth here. And it says transition to a higher level of being, raising your energetic vibration and enlightenment. Okay. There's that ace of swords. Okay. For sure. All right, not to mention the magician is also very enlightened as well. And there is your last one, and that is time to shine. Creates the energetic resonance for golden opportunities. I'm going to hold that one up again. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope there was something here that resonated with your manifestations. Um, might have been a little bit. It might have been the whole thing. All right. But hopefully there was. If so, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That helps me. All right. But happy manifesting. Okay. I thank you guys so much for watching. Love, light, blessings to you. And now we're going to move on to uh, number three. And hello, Scorpio group number three. Let's get right into your manifestation reading for you. All right, so what do we need to know? Manifesting abundance, please, Scorpio group number three. Thank you. And we have Yang. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. This is a call to action a little bit, okay? Uh, there's a lot of energy that's associated with the yang, okay? This is your masculine energy, all right? It is time to light a fire. Something new is on the horizon for you here. It feels some of you have been doing manifestations for a while. And quite often, sometimes they, sometimes your manifestations come in as a, you know, big, massive um, surprise, okay, but other times they present themselves in the form of an opportunity that has been guided to you and that really leads you towards your path towards abundance, all right? So a little bit different for everybody, okay, but you are a manifestation master right here, okay? So if you don't feel like you're energetic at all, this is giving you a boost, all right? And this is also reminding you, um, this is also reminding you when you're doing manifestations to attach energy to it, okay, passion to it, all right, emotion, all of those things, okay, and that gives your manifestations an extra oomph, all right, in the, uh, in the universe, okay, um, but I'm feeling more strongly here, the most, uh, the most that there is some opportunity that is headed your way that requires you to take action. And it's wonderful because that's really attached to manifestation. Okay, so let's pull more cards. So what else does Scorpio number three need to know for manifestation? Thank you. All right. 
So we have two, I usually only get one, but that's fine. Okay, so we have gratitude coming out here. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. All right, now part one of the biggest keys of manifestation is being thankful and grateful for all of the blessings and abundance and manifestations that you have received. All right, and some people may be saying, but I haven't received anything yet. Yes, you have. Energetically, you already have all of the abundance and blessings that you have attracted into your life. Be thankful for them. That is manifesting from a position of abundance. All right, and a deep knowledge that everything is already here. All right, it's a great place to manifest from. All right, and as your, as your manifestations start to take shape in physical form, all right, be thankful for each and every little one, even if it's not the massive one that you've been, um, that you've been wanting and you've been hoping for. Sometimes things come out a little bit at a time, okay? Opportunities present themselves. Those lucky breaks, that $20 you find in your, in your jeans pocket that you didn't have a minute ago, okay? Technically, you already had it. You just didn't know, and you just didn't have it in your hand. And that's the way manifestation works as well. Somewhere around your house, you have 20 bucks sitting in a pocket somewhere. So energetically, you have it. Physically, it's just not in your fingers. So it's up, it's up to you to be thankful for it. And then all of a sudden, oh, there it is. So we have companionship coming out here as well. Giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. All right. And when you're doing manifestations and you're setting your intentions, whoops, part of that intention setting and part of getting the ball rolling is to understand that you are co-creating your reality with the universe. All right. It's a symbiotic relationship. Your partner's in crime. All right. You have to do your part. Universe does its part. And then you do your part again. And then it's that give and take. It's that back and forth. All right. So um, and you have to be present in your energy, be grateful, be focused, okay, and get ready to take action, okay, that power to manifest really is yours, that power that you hold in your hands, all right, and you are in constant companionship and partnership with the universe, okay, and when we think of things from that perspective, all right, that, you know, we're in this together, right, things come a little bit easier, okay, because it's like, hey, buddy, Hey buddy, you want to, you want to toss this my way? Thanks. That's great. So let's pull another card. I don't know why I said that. It's weird. Okay. <laughs> so let me pull another card for you. All right. Thank you. And we have, I cannot create in the experience of another. Now this card's come out a couple of times already. You got a million cards in this deck. So I cannot create in the experience of another says you cannot create in the experience of another because you cannot think their thoughts what you can do for them is set the example of joy become a being who thinks only that which you are wanting who speaks only that which you are wanting and who does only that which you are wanting and therefore brings forth joy only joyful emotion and what do we already say that emotion that gratitude, okay, is all a big, big part of manifestation. And it's a part that people really struggle with sometimes because sometimes people think it's just writing your intention on a piece of paper and, you know, sticking it on a board somewhere and walking away. But it's so important to attach that emotion to it, to be, be in the energy of visual, visualization, attach the joy to it, the positivity to it, the gratitude to it, right? And then things really can flow um, a lot better because energetically, again, you already have it, okay? And when you actually get things in physical form, you're not surprised. Your energy doesn't change because you have already lived through it once already. So let's pull your tarot and let's see uh, what else we've got for you coming out here. Thank you. So we have, <laughs> wow, whoa. Okay, that jumped away. The 10 of materials. 
the Ten of Pentacles. Whoa, okay, talk about thinking big. Okay, I like that one. All right, we have the Muse of Inspiration that relates back to the King of Wands. We have the Six of Emotions. And we have the Five of Emotions. And I'm just going to get a second line for each one of these. Ten of Materials. We have the Seven of Materials. The Muse of Inspiration. We've got the Six of Materials. The Hermit comes out with the Six of Emotions. And... Oh yeah, baby. The nine of emotions with that five of emotions. This is your wish fulfillment card. This is your abundance card. And there's your genie in a lamp. Okay. What is your wish? Because it's coming on in here. So, wow. These first two cards, this is all about setting your intention. Okay. Planting the seeds of your manifestation. Ten of Pentacles, um, okay, uh, that's abundance at its finest right there. That's the big one. That's the big kahuna of manifestation. And it doesn't matter what you're manifesting, okay, you are bringing this into your physical world. Money, opportunity, job, family, home, stability, love, all right, you name it. It is attached to this Ten of, ten of Materials here, okay. You have the ability to bring all of this into your physical world right now. All you need to do is make a decision, set your intention, follow your heart. The seven of materials, um, you know, the seven of materials is really about having a look at what you have, having a look at what you don't need, okay? What are you gonna take with you into your future, okay? It's devising a, pl a strategy as well, okay? Um, revising a strategy even, okay, seven materials, it's uh, seven of pentacles, okay, but it's also an energy of patience. So sometimes we need to have a little bit of patience when we um, are manifesting, okay, when we're setting our intentions, all right. We also need in that seven of materials to really make sure that we are manifesting only those things that have the potential to grow into this 10. So usually in the seven of, of pentacles energy, we've got like a tree, um, you know, or a bush or something. And then a person standing there staring at it and it's got seven pentacles in it. All right. Sometimes in other imagery, we see a few pentacles still on the bush or the tree and then a few in a basket. Okay. And you know, sometimes it's all about, um, you know, uh, having a look at things. All right. It's a contemplative energy and, you know, having a look at what we've built, where we're at currently. Um, and then one of, you know, deciding what to take with us to the future, if anything. Okay. And it's also one of, um, growth as well. So some of you are already at that seven of pentacles, that seven of material, and you're looking to how to take that wonderful leap up into the 10. Some of you are looking at what you've got right now and going, you know what? No, I think I need to manifest something a little bit different. So you may be back to the drawing board with your intentions and thinking about something a little bit different. And, you know, you might be in that energy of, uh, you know, scrapping something altogether. Your priorities may have changed a little bit. Okay. Or you may have, uh, you may have felt that you've made a mistake in what you're trying to call in. Okay, so you're just taking a second look at things and making sure that what you have been manifesting is really what you want. Is Does it have a chance to blossom into this uh, into this 10? All right, so it's, um, it is an energy of patience and planning. And that is not an, a bad energy to be in when you are doing intention setting because it's a more cautious energy. And we do need to be able to speak our truth and take our time, all right? And really set our intention, attach our motivation. And, you know, then we can have all of the um, abundance that we want flow to us more easily. Now, this is a very interesting 
position here, okay? And I always get interesting cards in this position because um, initially when the cards come out, they look wonderful, they look great, but um, it's really the shadow side that I'm reading, okay? It's really the kind of reversed energy, um, the negative or challenging aspects of this because this is in the position of what you need to get rid of, what you need to clean up, okay? What you need to sweep away. And when we have the muse of inspiration, all right, and this deck goes sideways. This is uh, related back to the King of Wands energy. And what happens when the King of Wands is in reverse? He's impatient. He's challenging. All right. Uh, he's frustrated. All right. He's not positive. All right. Normally in the upright, he's the wonderful side of all of those things. Okay, so what needs to go is anything that is not positive, okay? Anything that's fresh, any frustration, um, any doubts, any fears, um, any manipulate. well, not really manipulation. How do I want to say that? Um, any reluctance, okay, or doubts that may come about in regards to manifestation that needs to go that needs to get out go out the door all right because what's happening six of materials is normally a wonderful energy right but being in the flow um, reciprocal give and take it's one of balance fairness right the law of giving and receiving all right but as what we need as what we need to get rid of okay what needs to be swept away is the reverse of that okay one-sided energy um, not trusting in the process, not trusting in the flow, not putting, um, not putting out your positive energy and then getting that positive energy back, right? Something is blocked, okay? So instead of fairness and balance and equality and reciprocity, okay, we've got something there that is blocked. Why is it blocked? Frustration, okay? Impatience, all right? Any negative, uh, any negativity that may be seeping into the process there, Okay, the need to understand that you are co-creating your reality with the universe. Okay, um, you know, it's any of those shadow side elements that are blocking the flow of the energy. And we want to make sure that we live in that high vibe. And of course, you cannot control all of your thoughts and emotions every single point of the day. If you ever feel yourself going down into a rabbit hole of negativity or frustration or impatience or all of those fun things, all right, it's about being mindful, bring it to center, center your energy, all right, release the negativity, boom, goodbye, all right, sweep it under the rug, well, not under the rug, okay, sweep it out the front door, all right, and then refocus, and then keep on going with your day. Nala is not lost. Okay, there's a reason that there is divine timing. There's a reason why there is a timing delay on when we're manifesting to when we actually get things in our reality. Some manifestations happen really fast. Okay, that's when you're a manifestation master. All right, but quite often there is that delay and that is to give us a chance to make sure that we're in alignment, to make sure that we're manifesting what we actually really want and need. All right, because if we instantly manifested every single thought that we had, the minute we had it, we would do be doing nothing but cleaning up a big old mess every single day. It would be chaos, right? And we don't want chaos. We want flow, right? We want flow. So how in the world do you nurture your intentions? What do you do along the way? All right, be present. The six of emotions is the six of cups, and it can quite often be an energy of nostalgia, spending too much time in the past or too much time in the future. How do you want, how do you nurture your manifestations? You attach positive emotion to it in the here and now. Trust in yourself, your higher self, your wisdom, okay, in this hermit energy here. Trust that your manifestations are coming to fruition. In this desert here with this footprints, there's one tree. That's your tree of abundance, all right? Trust that it's there for you. The sun is shining upon you, all right? Trust in yourself, your abilities, okay? And make sure that you are manifesting from your highest good, all right? And what, you know, why you're manifesting things, all right? It doesn't really matter your reason as long as it's for powers of good, not evil, all right? Um, if you're trying to get, a, a, you know, $100,000 just for the fun of having $100,000, you're going to blow it in Vegas in three days. At least you know why you're manifesting it. The universe won't say no, all right? But at least you know why you want it. 
Okay, so it's really about being in alignment with that there. All right, but the six of emotions, attach those positive emotions to what you have manifested into your life. Know, sit in the knowledge, the wisdom that you already have it and be present. You have it here now, in the here and now. It's not in the past and it's not in the future. And be secure in that knowledge. All right, and then trust. And what happens? what happens what happens five of emotions we can release negativity we can embrace the positive in positive events all right and the five of emotions yes it can be the five of cups the five of emotions it can be one of being focused on what you don't have all right but we're shifting out of that energy into the knowledge that we have our wishes our wishes are coming true here shifting our attention shifting our feelings shifting our emotions okay Focusing on the positive, leaving anything negative in our dust, and that is when we get our abundance. That is when we get all of these blessings, these manifestations that flow to us in a positive way. All right, and I love that in this deck here, we actually have a genie's lamp with that nine of emotions because that's the nine of cups and it's your wish fulfillment. All right, fish represent abundance. So, when you rubbed this genie's lamp, when you made your wish, what did you wish for? It can't be three more wishes. <laughs> it's cheating, okay? But whatever it is that you wished for, okay, you've got it. It's coming in, okay? You need to be trust in that, in that energy. Believe it. Remember, be present, okay? Be present in the energy that you already have everything. And then the blessings really flow to you like those fish in the ocean, all right, beautiful energy. It lifts us up and it um, helps us um, bring it in. And again, that yang energy, okay, we've got a lot of energy that's around, a lot of manifestation power is within you right now, okay? The manifestation, okay, the ability, the energy to make your wishes come true. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so remember those pieces of advice there. Patience strategic um, intention setting, attaching emotions, um, staying positive, keeping your vibration high, co-creating with spirit, okay, being in gratitude, thankful, thank you, thank you, thank you, right, and, you know, and then believing that you already have all of your, your all of your abundance, all of your manifestations are here, so I'm going to leave that there for you guys, but I'm going to close out your reading with some making magic cards. So these have magical, powerful symbols on them and I'll hold them up to the screen and uh, the writing may be a little bit fuzzy. I'll read it out to you though, um, but the symbol should be clear. Okay. So they're magical symbols to activate um, magic into your life. So there's your first one. What other ones do we have? Thank you. And one more, please. Whoa, two more. There we go. See, we get more than what we asked for sometimes. All right. So let's see what we've got out for you here. Ooh, I like this one. And there's your magic symbol for prosperity. A prosperous business with riches and success. All right. Some of you may be manifesting that. We have spirit. That's the symbol for spirit. Heavenly assistance from your angels and guides. Oh, yeah. There's that companionship. Okay, you are never alone. All right, and then we have the elements. The elements of fire, air, earth, and water combine to create powerful protective boundaries, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. Love that. That's being in alignment. All right, and best one of all, on target. Follow your ideal life path. Hermit. Okay, on target, life path, follow where you're meant to be, soul searching energy, okay, trust and have faith that your wishes and dreams come true. You are on track there with that energy. So I'm going to leave that there for you, Scorpio, but I really hope there was something here that helped you along your manifestation journey. Um, might have been a little bit, might have been the whole thing, but if there was, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I thank you guys so much for watching. All right, happy manifesting. Love, light, blessings to you. I thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.